This video is about Euler's number, which is denoted by E, which was named after a Swiss mathematician, Leonard Euler. So, Euler number is basically a irrational number, and its value is 2.718281 eight two eight four five nine zero and so on so it is a irrational number now after the number pi which is 3.14 and so on it is considered as the second most important irrational number in mathematics so now Euler number e is mostly defined as limit n approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power n. Now this is the definition of Euler's number. Also, Leonard Euler never found out this number by this method. He used a series method which is like this. E is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to infinity 1 upon n factorial. So this is how Euler's reduced the Euler's number. Now this is a quick video on the introduction to Euler's number. Euler number E is the famous base of logarithm log base to the power E. Now log base E means natural log. So this is a famous logarithm base also. Now let us find the values of Euler number from this thing. So if we put n and let's see what's the value of Now, if we put n1, then 1 plus 1 upon n raised to the power n is 2.0000. Similarly, if we put 2, then n is 2.2500. Similarly, if we put 5, then n, then this thing becomes 2.48832. Also, when we put 10, then we are just making n bigger and bigger so that we can show what happens when n will become infinity. So when n is 10, its value is 2.59374. Also when n is 100, then its value is 2.70481. And when n is 1000, we are taking a bigger n now, its value is 2.71692. And when n is 10,000, 10,000, its value is 2.71815. See, we are getting closer to this thing, this number. So now let's put a bigger n, which is 1 lakh. Then its value is 2.71827, which is more close to e. So, similarly, if you put larger and larger n, this thing becomes close to e. So, when n is infinity, then it defines our Euler's number e. Also, there is a property of Euler's number, which is, we can express exponential growth as Euler's number. So, it looks something like this. So, the exponential growth is something like this. And it has a really great property that the slope, its slope, that means its derivative, is the function itself. And also, the area under this, that is the integration of y to dx, is also the same function. So, the integration and differentiation of this is same. So it has a really amazing property in this way. So this was the basic introduction of Euler's number. The most important thing you need to know is its definition. This one, how Euler's deduced it and how it is used for the base, its value and its properties. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.